record button. All right, so good afternoon, Mayor Ashman. Um, I wanted you to talk to me about the Gaithersburg Book Festival. So uh, thank you so much for, for asking. Gaithersburg Book Festival uh, is coming up. This will be our 13th year. Uh, it's coming up Saturday, May 21st, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. here in Gaithersburg at, at Boer Park. Um, our festival, we bring the some of the very best authors, uh, journalists, educators on the planet to come uh, speak about their latest work and sign books. Uh, so we this year we have over 120 authors, uh, many, many bestsellers, winners of the Pulitzer Prize, National Book Award, um, Newbery Medal, Calicott Medal, all, all the, the majors um, are covered. And uh, for all different ages and genres, um, whatever your taste is, history, mystery, uh, fiction, nonfiction, children's picture book, teen, young adult, we, we have authors for everybody. Um, it's a wonderful day. It is free to attend. Um, in addition to the, uh, the authors, which is sort of the flagship of our festival, we also have workshops for aspiring writers. We have um, pavilions that are dedicated to a full day's worth of poetry and multicultural readings, uh, exhibits, food, and fun for everybody. So um, it's GaithersburgBookFestival.org if you for information, um, or you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We put out lots of updates that way. And again, Saturday, May 21st, coming up very soon, free to attend, free to park. We hope you'll join us. So right now it looks like the weather forecasted is, you know, I don't want to jinx anything, but it looks like it's going to be a sunny day. Um, why, can you talk to me about how this is its first year back since the pandemic? Yeah, well, so first let's talk about the weather because you, you, you brought it up, um, it, it, which reminds me uh, for, for anybody who's having a little reticence about getting together for a big event with a lot of people, um, I will note that the Gaithersburg Book Festival takes place outside, which is why, Deirdre, you bring up the weather, and it is <clears throat> very relevant. We have had, uh, it's a rain or shine event. We have had book festivals during the rain before. We prefer it, obviously, when it's sunny. Uh, but for those are, who are reticent for, for COVID reasons, I will say it's an outdoor festival. Uh, we are in the mid, you know, right in the heart of the most vaccinated county in the United States of America. If there was ever going to be a safe book author event, this is the one. Um, so, so yeah, I'm looking at the weather, but I'm not commenting on it because I'm very superstitious about that at this point. Um, and we do have a new location. We're at Boer Park. Uh, as we used to do it at City Hall, now we're at Boer Park. We have more space um, and it's beautiful and people are gonna love it. Right. Did I answer your question? Because I- Yeah. And okay. <laughs> Could you just talk about how these last two years it's been all virtual? So how does it feel as the mayor of Gaithersburg for it to come back and you have a safe plan? Could you talk to me about that? Yeah, I mean, it feels wonderful. I, it, we're so excited. We're feeling a, a, a lot of buzz about the event. People are ready to get back together. Um, we have done, we've carried forward the Gaithersburg Book Festival over the past couple of years, but we did it through, um, we moved to virtual. And virtual is great. We did some terrific programs. We're really proud of that. But there's no substitute for coming together, for getting FaceTime with these terrific authors, for, uh, for really, you know, the, the whole festival atmosphere. Um, we've missed it. And so here we are back. And it kind of feels like a rebirth. Um, it's the first time in three years. It's, it's a new location. And I, you know, we have high hopes for it. And I'm feeling, I'm hearing good things in the community. I think people are are excited. One other thing I would say about the Gaithersburg Book Festival, to those who don't live in Gaithersburg, even though the first word of our name is Gaithersburg, um, it really has always been built to be a regional festival. It belongs to all of the DMV and Montgomery County and, and everywhere else around us. Um, and it's easy to get to. And it, you, I want everyone to feel like they're part of the family too, even though that first word is Gaithersburg. And you've had, the last time, there were thousands of people that show up. How big are you expecting the attendance to be? It's or how big to... was it last year, the last time it was in person? Last time it was, it was in person was, I think it was somewhere around 20,000. Um, it's been three years, so 
uh, I think it was that was one of our 20,000 years because we've had a few where we broke 20,000. Um, and then we had our virtual festivals and now we're back. I don't I have no idea if people I feel like people are ready to get back together. Um, and hopefully that's true. But I just I just don't know if we got a crowd like like that, like we used to get, I would be very happy. Um, and I think the attendees would be very happy, too, because it's a wonderful experience. Fair. Um, and could you do some name dropping for me? Who are the biggest authors that we're going to, or biggest authors, some of the biggest books, both children's books, fiction, nonfiction, et cetera. Um, who are the authors that we should be stopping by to meet, get our books signed and so forth? Yeah, excellent. So uh, for I'll go through some different genres, okay? Uh, we have sci a big sci-fi writer, John Scalzi, very popular. He's, he's got a book called The Kaiju Preservation Society. Um, mystery thriller. We have uh, S.A. Cosby. We're, we're talking about razor blade tears. This is this is a terrific book. It's been on lots of best uh, of the year lists, and it's won a bunch of awards. I think people will really like that one. Uh, we also have another big bestseller in the mystery thriller category was Andrea Bartz, uh, We Were Never Here. Um, for people who are into political memoirish types, um, we have a bunch of stuff that's sort of following up the last couple of years with impeachment and dramatic situations. We have Congressman Adam Schiff is coming, Congressman Jamie Raskin is coming to talk, talk about his book, and Dr. Fiona Hill is coming to talk about her book. Um, we have children's authors, uh, Peter H. Reynolds, who is somewhat of a legend, won many, many awards. He's an author illustrator. He's he's done, I think, somewhere around 50 books. He's amazing. Uh, Danielle Clayton, who grew up in Gaithersburg and then went on to make it big. And now she's coming back with a new middle grade novel called The Marvelers, which everyone's really excited about. Um, Carol Lindstrom, winner of uh, a recent Caldecott medal, which is the Caldecott's what you get for the, the top picture book of the year. Um, her book is We Are Water Protectors. Um, in historical fiction, we have Reina Grande coming in. We're really excited. Um, you know, we, we had an event planned with her a few years ago, and it had to get canceled because of the pandemic, so we're excited to, to get her in. Um, we have Jacqueline Machard, who, who some will remember as like the first ever Oprah Book Club author, uh, so, so we're excited about that. We have a lady named Jocelyn Nicole Johnson who wrote a collection of short stories called My Monticello, which is on every single uh, best of the year list. We're really excited to have her and many, many more. Like I said, we have over 120 authors uh, for you to meet and get to know their work. You're going to know some coming into it, and that's great. Meet them, but also, you know, come and discover some, some authors and maybe a genre or two you don't usually read because we... We only bring in the best, so you're gonna, you're really gonna enjoy it. Great. And in addition to the book discussions, um, what other uh, activities are there for people that just like writing and uh, in poetry and things of that nature? Yes. Yeah, so we have workshops, um, and we have two categories of workshops. There's workshops for adults and teens, and then there's workshops for children. The children's workshops are tend to be more about the craft and about uh, drawing and illustrating. Um, and those workshops are often led by like graphic novelists. We have one that's that's being led by Dan Santat, who's um, a Caldecott medal winning illustrator. Um, and he's going to sort of teach kids the basics of drawing. And I'm thinking, what a cultural opportunity that is. He's coming in, I think he lives in California, um, and he's going to speak about his book, but then he's also going to do this workshop for kids, which I think is amazing. So we have a bunch of children's workshops like that. We also have for for adults and teens, we have a college essay uh, workshop that's for uh, high school students. And for, for adults, it's uh, workshops about how getting your books published and sort of structuring characters and, and uh, plot. I think you know, there's something for everybody. So, so we have the workshops, we have exhibitors, people who are part of the book industry in some way, uh, either authors who are, are uh, showing their own books or, you know, publishers, small to mid-sized presses will be there so you can speak to them and talk about, you know, maybe you've got a book in you and talk about how it would go if you wanted to get your own thing published. Um, and then, of course, we have, we, we're going to have plenty of food and maybe a little bit 
of music and, you know, just fun for everybody. Great, excellent. Um, and I guess my last question is, this is a year where people have felt like their books are under attack with, um, you know, in some states, an attempt to ban books in schools and libraries. Can you talk to me about how this is a celebration, I guess, of books um, as uh, this other stuff is going on? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, the Gaithersburg Book Festival is committed to a mission of celebrating the word and its power to enrich the human experience. And we believe that uh, the free expression of ideas uh, and the reading of books actually makes us better people. Um, even if they're, even the controversial ideas, they, they give us a chance to consider other points of view. And reading a book is the closest thing that you and I can get to sort of seeing the world through somebody else's eyes. And when you do that, when you do it, when you exercise your brain in that way, it's you're exercising your empathy muscle. And when and people who are have more empathy make better citizens, they make better neighbors, they make be better people stuck in traffic together. It's it, it's like um, it, I, I just believe that uh, books and book festivals like this one uh, add to the world. They enlarge our experience. And, and so uh, I can't speak to any, any other communities that are taking the opposite tack. All I can say is we're proud uh, and we believe very strongly in supporting books and writers and readers. We want to foster generations of readers. Amen. Well, we look forward to coming to the festival on May 21st then. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure.